is now 2.38. We have a beautiful interview for you. Good afternoon. I'm good. Thank you so much. It's awesome to be here. I'm excited about this. Wow. It's awesome to have you. You were born and raised in Kingston. Yes. Uh, but uh, hearing you speak, you sound as if you reside elsewhere. Where were you living? Huh? Yes, I migrated to Bronx, New York in 2013. So, six years. Yes. Awesome. Awesome. So, how was that going for you? Is it going for you? <laughs> oh, man. God's been blowing my mind. The testimonies from this book, coming from this book, is amazing. Um, I'm telling you, people from all over, this book got into even to Germany, um, England, the Cayman Islands. This book is literally international. Um, next month is actually going to be a year since I published this book, Sur Survival 101, How to Survive on the Christian Journey. And uh, God has been blowing my mind. We just had the book launch in Jamaica releasing this book. This book is actually currently located at Book Familia at 92 Hope Road, so you can definitely get your book there as well. Located at Book Ophelia. But before we go to the other locations or how people can get a copy of this book, it's a beautiful copy, might I say, and it's not thick at all. You know, sometimes you see a book and you're like, oh, I can't wait to read it. <laughs> uh, but it's a small book. It uh, has some leaves to either side of the word Survivor 101, written in white, beautiful, and then it's in a canopy of trees. And then you have how to survive on the Christian journey, and you see like a journey, a picture uh, depicting a journey. Beautiful indeed. What's the inspiration behind a book like this? So this book was actually written to help encourage and motivate people from whether you're in church or not in church, you lost your way. Um, this book will help remind you back to God. Um, this book was actually written in 2015, where I was surviving the process of this journey. You know, sometimes you hear some stuff in church, some room, and you wonder like, is this really church people? And it drove me to tears. It drove me to the point where I wanted to back away from my purpose and what God has called me to do. And during this time, I even remember, I said, I'm not going back to church. I'm, I'm just not doing this anymore. And I remember in church sitting down, fighting not to lift my hands up, but the atmosphere was set for deliverance. And the God presence was evident, it was there. And I remember my sister interceding for me. And I went home and I was like, God, why would you not let me feel your presence? I'm trying my utmost best and the very same people you have called me to minister to, the very same people you have called me to, you know, help groom them into their calling is the very same people that is tearing me down. And I went home and God said, listen, I'm trying to show you what it would feel like without doing what I've called you to do, empty. I couldn't praise God, I couldn't lift up my hand, nothing. I felt empty, my entire world stopped. And during this time, I didn't have anything else to do but to pray in tears, there was no word no words whatsoever i cried for days and during that time god gave me these words in this book wow. and it's not until 2018 i said listen it's now time to do it oh my word so as he kept processing your mind and giving you you just went and just started to write i just wrote up to now i'm yet to read the entire book what yes this is amazing. Yes. This is amazing. If if you're just joining us, we have the privilege of speaking with 24 year year old Angelica Cotner, born and raised in Kingston, but now lives in New York. She's promoting her very first book, Survivor 101: How to Survive on the Christian Journey. Now I'm gonna piggyback on the church hurt issue. <laughs> I, I I am so. <laughs> I'm so impressed to hear you speak about the power of God and how it helped you to pass yes. that process in your life. Yes. Can you just pour out some more to the people of God right now? Because it seems to be a general issue. Like yes. every child of God 
on the goals and stay. How do you get past it? You said you had somebody <laughs> praying for you. What else could you say? Okay, so right now? this happened in 2015, and sad to say, it's still going on, but I've gained some strength to overcome it even now, and I I told myself that I'm this person, I'm not so open up to people, and God allowed my spiritual mother to come at that church at that time, and she looked at me, and I remember even the very time I was going through the whole season of surviving, I remember crying on the floor, and she called me immediately, and I picked up the phone, and she said, listen, get up, wipe your face, because the Lord said they shall drown in your tears, and that's all I had to hear, that's all I had to hear, I got up, and I act as if nothing was going on. And I kept on going. I kept on praying. Even when I didn't want to pray. I kept a smile on my face. Even when I didn't want to smile. And I did what I'm supposed to do. Because I knew that God had to be up to something. He had to be doing something. Because there's no way that I had to be going through this. Facing these people every single day. Singing the choir with these people every single day. And they will behave as if they did nothing to you. And that's the crazy part of it, because even up to this day, if I go to them, be like, hey, I didn't do that to you. But I'm so glad that God has given me the strength to stand firm, to set my face as a flint, and to do what he has called me to do. Because we can't allow rejection, we can't allow what people said about us to keep us down. Because at the end of the day, God has placed to give in us, God has anointed us to do, to say, and we have to do it now. Not because someone said, hey, you're not called to do that. God is the one that approves and ordains you to do such. You're anointed to win, and you're anointed to do. Don't stop where you're at, keep going. Oh, somebody say amen. <laughs> This is an evangelist, by the way, evangelist Angelica Cott, now powerful indeed, and of course, out of all of this birthed Survival 101. What's the reaction like so far to the book? Oh my goodness, I remember this, even just now, at the book launch, this girl got a book, Oshin, shout out to you. So she, she actually wrote a book as well, Journaling, and she just got my book, and it was her birthday, and she saw one of the chapters that said, wait and trust in the weight. And she said it was perfect because when she saw the book, that was the first thing that came to her was weight. And she generally, so she kind of draws. And she draw in the book and she created her thing. And she said, listen, thank God that you obeyed his voice because this was on time. Even this unsaved, and to be honest with you, the unsaved support me more than the saved people. That's the crazy part because when, at the point when my book was going out, I see that I realized I wasn't getting the support that I'm supposed to get from the church. And, you know, God said, listen, I told you to write, just write, don't worry about anything else. And to my surprise, I probably get 75, 85% from the saved, from the church people. So I know the seed that God is imparting these people. Listen, when God give you a word, when God tell you to do something, just impart it. Just let it go. Because eventually, God is going to allow rain to fall and it's going to flourish. And then you're going to wonder, what happened to her? It was the very seed that God gave you. A lot of times we hold on to what God gives us and then we hinder somebody else's growth, somebody else um, coming into Christ. We just need to let go and let God do everything else. Oh, my God, my God. We, just, <laughs> we have a church up here. Now, this is just right on time. As a person, this is a rhema word for yes. somebody right now. This is just awesome. You've got to go and get this book. Could you remind them uh, where they can get the book? Bookophilia, 92 Hope Road. Is there an online copy? And can yes. Give a number as well. They can right enter. now, it's actually on Amazon, on Prime as well. It's actually, they actually have a sale for $10. You can't beat that because the original price is actually 18 so it's $10 right now. It's on every online bookstore. Once you type in my name in Google, you see pop up. But there's definitely a bookstore here in Jamaica where you can get it direct. Wow. Anybody want to say a quick shout out to you? Shout out to my mom, Shereen Douglas, Earl. Shout out to my dad, Courtney Codner, my sister, Abigail Codner, my aunt, my bishop, Bishop Blake, Pastor Codner. Shout out to everyone that have been supporting the Christian Journey Ministry and my book, Survival 101. Look out for more because we have some coming. Wow. <laughs> This is just awesome. Thank you so very much, Evangelist Angelica Cardinal. Thanks for having me. A woman of great purpose under God. God bless you. Thank you. God bless.